Hey everybody, my name is Gil and welcome back for another video of Lost Judgment. We're gonna continue this series, boys. I think we're entering uh, chapter two. Uh, they are showing us the previous thing and stuff like that. So chapter one was all about that one case with the bullying and stuff like that. And now we're entering a brand new case uh, in which apparently it involves the school as well. So we're about to find out both our cases in the two cities are coming into one uh, main case which is interesting so we're about to find out really that the son he had lost was avenged so chapter two vicious cycle right during brand new chapter boys i'm not sure how many chapters they are but the fact that uh i did six parts and it was an entire chapter just a chapter Leads me to believe this Before game's go gonna on, be very long, boys, but uh, that's fine by me. That's a really... I, I like that game quite a lot. Sure. Akihiro Ahara. Age 53. Senior officer with Tokyo PD. Convicted of sexual battery. He'd been stationed in Shinjuku and lived alone in Tokyo. That is, until his arrest. Lived alone? Unmarried then? His wife moved to Yokohama without him seven years ago, when their son Toshiro started at Xavier High. Toshiro Kun ended up taking his life in his third year. That's four years ago, if you're counting. And the couple never reconciled, huh? Apparently, his wife wanted nothing to do with him from that point on. That's it for personal details. All right. As for the charge, Ehara has maintained his innocence. He's had no luck getting him to budge. Mind you, the prosecution has plenty against him. Security camera surveillance, eyewitness footage, even trace evidence gathered on scene. The same footage the media was plastering on TV? Yes. Although some of it was edited for privacy or length. But it painted a clear enough picture. Hard to dispute something you can see right in front of you. True. And what about when they handed down the verdict? The horror flew off the handle or something? Yeah. That's one way of putting it. Your Honor. In a warehouse. About three days ago. A body turned up in Yokohama. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. Ehara seemed convinced that Mikoshiba had bullied his son, and to get his justice, he even took Seiryu High to court. However, the court ruled against him, claiming there was no substantial evidence of bullying. So the chairman mentioned that lawsuit, and I'm sure Hira wasn't thrilled with the verdict. Interesting. I still need to dig into the court record of that case to see if there's anything of value. Sounds like I'm on deck then. I've got someone involved in the case right in front of me. Who? The chairman of Serio High himself. Are you talking about me? I don't know how you pull these things off, Yagami-san. But let me give you a word of caution. I'm listening. Mikoshiba's murder hasn't been made public yet, so please don't go around talking about it, especially at his school. The Kanagawa police will investigate the school soon enough, and if they find out everyone already knows... They could show us the door, lock it behind them, and probably charge us with obstruction. Exactly. Oh, and before I send you Mikoshiba's photo, there's one last thing you should know. What's that? Ehara's ruling was the day before yesterday. That means we only have 13 more days to potentially file an appeal. She's right. We need to file an appeal in order to show the court our dissatisfaction with the verdict. But I'm, what if I'm happy with the verdict? I don't give a fuck. Uh, all right. I mean, she's hiring me for doing an appeal, I guess. It's fine. But if we don't appeal in two weeks, the court will assume we have nothing left to argue and process uh, the defendant as charged. If we don't make our move, Ehara will walk out of court with a second minor slap on the wrist. And once his case is closed, it would take a miracle to get it reopened. Even if there had been a critical oversight. Right. I'm sorry to give you a time limit instead of a viable solution. Don't worry. I'll have to make do. For now, let's just keep in touch. Thanks. And good luck. Alright, finally we ended that goddamn phone call. Well, sorry. long story short, no, okay, sorry. somebody else is calling me or something. Okay, no, that's the photo. Sent me, he sent me the picture of Mikoshiba. So this is the guy here, Rara, said we, we would be found dead. So he's Excellent dead, episode. okay. Can I fill you in later? I need to get some answers from the chairman. Hmm? 
All right, so I need to go get some answers. So new info has been added to your case file. Harassment uh, at the station and everything. Okay, good. And uh, the missing teacher's murder and all that. Uh, so it all comes together right now. I do need to uh, to talk to this man right here. We got some uh, interrogation to uh, to get. So I, let's investigate him. You with something, yagami -san? You sure can. Only thing is, where to start? So I can't reveal what happened to Mikoshiba, but there's no harm in asking general questions about him. Exactly, I can just ask him, do, do you know this guy? Do you know where he went? Do you know uh, like where he lives and stuff like that? Like simple stuff, really, but I can't tell him that he's dead. Remember how you told me about a student teacher went missing? Oh, uh... This is him, right? Hiro Mikoshiba. How do you have that photo? Yes, that's him. I'd like to ask a bit about him in relation to a separate investigation. What? What is it you need to know? Did something happen to him? I can't reveal any I'm of that. I can't give you any details. Unfortunately, I can't. This request comes from a very close colleague. I'm sure you understand. It's a matter of detective client privilege. <sighs> I know that isn't much consolation. But if it's any comfort, I would never disclose anything about your case either. But don't you see? Mikoshiba-kun was officially reported missing. Please, can you tell me something? Can't tell you anything, my guy. I'll tell you everything I can when I can. But for now, let me ask the questions. Very well. Go ahead. I'll start with the basics. Mikoshiba-kun was a graduate here, correct? And that's why he came back to train as a teacher? That's correct. How long was he supposed to be here? Three weeks, originally. He'd nearly finished his time with us, but one day he simply stopped coming. It was as if all was well, then suddenly he was gone. Or at least that's how I'd heard it. Were you two not that close? No, we would had barely exchanged a word since he arrived. That sounds pretty standard for a school chairman. Yeah, pretty much. He doesn't talk to his students. Uh, he wouldn't personally deal with any temp staff, exactly. Wasn't there a pretty dark rumor about Mikoshiba-kun four years back? Something about how he drove a student to suicide? You mean what was dredged up online? Yes, I'm aware of it. However, in the subsequent lawsuit, that rumor was put to rest. The court found no evidence of bullying. But you had your doubts, didn't you? So you called on us to take a deeper look. Well, uh, yes. But let's not get confused. The tragedy from four years ago does weigh on us, but we've washed our hands of the matter. Well, you say that, yet I can't help circling back to the same question. Why would the head of a school hire detectives to monitor his students in secret, potentially even out of pocket? Well, for one thing, it would reflect poorly on our institution were I to openly suspect our students. Then there's the issue of bullying being recorded and shared online. You know what kind of firestorm that can cause. I should mention, I'm the one who takes the fall for it. My own privacy be damned. So of course I would opt for secrecy. That's fair. But what that still doesn't answer is why this is happening now. I'm not sure I follow. Something must have pushed the chairman towards taking action against the bullying. Now of all times, yeah, because... The building's always been there. Why now? Why does he uh, start doing it right now? So, we've got the photos. So, uh, what pushed the chairman towards taking action against the bullying? So, is it because of the photos? Or, okay, so, um, trace element inspection report. Uh, inspection take from hands immediately after his arrest. The trace fibers detected on his match. The fibers of the victim's underwear. I don't care about that. Maybe that's the one I want. A video recorded, it shows uh, Hirara getting pinned down by Pricerba. I think that could be the one right there. Uh, I'm gonna reveal the evidence. Uh, I'm gonna reveal that one. Could this be what riled you up? But, but this is... This is footage of Akihiro Ehara two months ago. Captured up in Tokyo. The man was an active duty police officer. So, of course, it made the rounds in the media. But you already knew all that. After all, 
He's the one who sued your school on account of what his son endured here. Bullying that led to suicide. Well, that's... Uh, undeniable. And now that he's in the spotlight, any more problems at Serio would lead people to start connecting the dots. Uh. The police would dig up that suicide in no time, regardless of whatever the court had ruled. Exactly. Even the so that's probably why you went all about it. Up. I get the feeling that's why we're really here. To prevent another mess on your hands. Oh, I see now. Our job's to sniff out any bullying. Then you sweep it under the rug. That's simply not true. At least, that wasn't my intention. You sure about that? The thought never even crossed your mind? <sighs> Perhaps it did. The scenario you described was painfully accurate. Every time I saw Yara-san on TV, I'd grow sick with worry that it could all boil over on us here at any moment. I can assure you, Chairman, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I only want to learn about Miko Shiba-kun. In that case, you should speak with Sawa-sensei. She was his teaching mentor. Her? Great. That's my luck. See? Oh, I told you we should have stayed on her good side. My guy, you were up all, uh, all up on our so business, aren't you? Would you like me to call her back here? No, thanks. I should go see her myself. Do a bit of smoothing over. In that case, you may want to go downstairs and see if she's in the faculty room. She should still be on lunch. Perfect. I've got another chance to shoot my shot. Yeah, you I staying here, I'm man. This one alone. I can't she's trust you around her. What? You're benching all of us, just like that? I don't understand the meaning of this, Yagamishi. If I had time to explain, I would. Just trust me on this for now. Yeah, I'm not going my, my uh, with uh, with the other guy. For, forget about that. All right, Okuda said the faculty room is one floor below his office. So we just gotta go uh, the floor below, boys. Let's, uh, let's go over there. Yeah, I'm not about to... I'm not about to bring that man. That man keeps saying, uh, keeps asking about uh, about her and keeps uh, defending her and stuff like that. He clearly has an eye for her and he's not objective at all, boys. So clearly I'm not going to start like going, I'm not going to start uh, going with him around when I have to deal with that girl. Forget about that. All right, let's, let's turn to this place. It's a lot of cutscenes and dialogues, boys. It's not a lot of action. Uh, this game is all about, I, I, I guess, the cutscenes. Not really a lot of gameplay. I'm sorry. Did you need something, sir? Oh. Uh, is Sawa Sensei here? She should be back shortly. May I ask who's waiting for her? Well, no one's special, really. I just need to have a quick word with her, is all. Maybe you could tell me where her desk is? It's right over there. The one with all the English books. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait for her. Uh, she's gonna be there any minute now. So, there she is. Uh, well, not uh, not there she is, but maybe we can look onto her stuff as well. Maybe we can spy on her a little bit. She knows a thing or two. We don't even need to talk to her. So this is her desk. Uh, Mikoshiba was under uh, Sawa's uh, supervision. Can anything uh, here give me clues about him? Let's find out. Probably this, to be honest. Suspicious. This will probably one. Attendance book for class two, two. That's right. She's their um, home room, uh, home uh, teacher. The? Maybe the uh, platform. I can't go messing around with her laptop with all these teachers looking. Yeah, that's true though. Uh, what about uh, Hello World? What about this? Hmm, I don't know. Hey. Oh, what about this one right here? Photo of students, but their uniforms aren't from Cero. Wait, could be? Uh, could this be Sawa herself? Oh, that's way back then, okay. Uh, in the school days, I guess. Maybe this helps me make her uh, more relatable for students. Interesting. Oh, he's right there behind. There's another photo in the back. Does that kid go here too? I'd like to check it out, but I can't uh, be seen doing that. Okay, so we got the photo frames. Investigate complete. Uh, okay, so search for clues. We got everything. Suspicious. What about this? Look at all these English books she has. Uh, okay. I guess we got what we needed, boys. So look for clues about Mikoshiba. And I guess we're good. We're good. 
So we know about the photo. I kind of want to see the photo behind and stuff like that. And the laptop could be very good as well. But I can't go around confiscate, uh, confisca uh, confiscating our stuff and stuff. Yes, well, I need to ask you a couple things. Such as? Such as how close you were to Hiromika Shiva. What? It's not really the place to talk about this, though. It's not a, a safe place. As a teacher. I believe this was two months ago. Why do you, of all people, want to know? Did you notice anything unusual before he disappeared? Any sign of trouble he might have had? I can't say for sure. He just stopped showing up one day. Really, that's all I know. Uh, is that really all you can tell me? Nothing jogging the memory? I said that's all. Interrogated somewhat with nothing to go on isn't very effective. Maybe I should come uh, at this a different way. You know what, let's start over. Why don't we talk about him as a student? You were already a teacher here by then, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Back when a student here committed suicide, there were rumors online about how it could have been caused by bullying. And Miko Shiba-kun's name came up as one of the potential bullies. Yes, but those were just rumors. So he wasn't involved in any teasing? I teach English and that's what I was focused on. So as far as I knew, Miko Shiba-kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. He's not the type to bully then? I would say... No. Then why would those rumors exist in the first place? You're asking the wrong person. Something's weird going on. Uh, this isn't the co consistent with our reaction to Koda gaining bullied. Exactly. This is not consistent. But then again, I don't have any proof. And why am I going in the middle of the like the room, talking about it super out loud, like? Uh, this is not supposed to be a secret or something. Here we go again with the no, like no shot situation right here. Four years like I'm ago, definitely Cole not discreet enough. Was not responsible for bullying I am nearly the worst detective out there. I, I swear, boys. Lawsuit? The father of the student who died and an officer in Tokyo. He was arrested the other day. Well, I'm sure you've seen the news. Yes, but what of it? What exactly is the point you're trying to make here? I believe Ahara-san still thinks his son killed himself because of Miko Shibaku. Let me ask you something, Yagami-san. By all means. What are you trying to accomplish? Didn't you finish this whole business with the chairman? If that wasn't enough, you got security called on you. You clearly have zero regard for anyone here. Yeah, I don't have any regards. I'm I'm clearly dumb, but let's get past over that part. What I need about Miko Shibaku. In that case, you've already got everything you need from me. Uh, one last question. You and the chairman both mentioned how Miko Shibakun got along with the students here. Anyone in particular that he was close to? <sighs> the kids in the basketball club? Miko Shibakun was in that club back when he was a student. Apparently, he was showing up to their practices. The basketball club. That includes the gang from before, right? <laughs> yes. They all spent quite a bit of time with him. Well, he was clear of bully then again. They keep popping up for some reason. All right, yeah, well. I guess everybody's right. friends with them, I then guess. Whatever. Your Appreciate your time, man. Uh, Sally sensei uh, Just a minute. Kaito-san, you there? Tell me you're still on campus. Why? You suddenly decide you need me after all? Man, don't be like that. You enjoy playing teacher's pet with Sawa-sensei? You mean, did I enjoy getting eviscerated by her? She hates my guts at this point. That aside, I did get some interesting intel. And that's where you come in. Huh? What for? I want to find those bullies in the basketball club. Think you can fly the pigeon for me? <laughs> So I do have a purpose. Ain't that something? All right then, it's drone time. Thanks. I'll start scoping out the gymnasium. 
I thought I was about to ask him to go and tell uh, and uh, see them. Well, I guess we're going with the drone tactic, boys. Uh, yeah, I, I thought, like, clearly I can't go there myself because they know what I look like. But I thought, like, I thought I could just get somebody else. We get, we're four guys. Any of the other guys that they haven't seen yet could have went there. But uh, I, I guess, I guess we're going to go for the drone tactic. There's a, a thing right there. Can yes, I buy okay. anything uh, in particular that's interesting? Crockett pan. We got some ya yakisoba pan. Melon pan. Okay. So it's just a bunch of... Uh, okay. A ma paper mill carton. That's all you sell over here? Or a broadcast plate. Broadcast cafeteria, boys. Alright then. Let's, uh, let's go, boys. Let's get out of here. We're gonna find out really quick via the drone uh, what's gonna happen. I keep popping up though. That girl, isn't she? She's the one that's being bullying, I guess. Uh, that's Koda. She was in the basketball club too. Maybe she knows about uh, Mikoshiba. So I gotta talk to her? Is that really a good idea to talk to her or something? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Do I really wanna talk to her right now? Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. That's a, a that's kind of a bad idea. I don't know, boys. Feels like we're getting a little too close to the people we're trying to spy on. Like clearly, we don't need to talk to them. We just need to like watch and learn, watch and uh, like uh, listen to what they say. You're Kodasan from class two too, right? Basketball too? Yeah. You have a second? I have. I have some questions about a student teacher who taught classes here in Mikoshiba. <laughs> oh. Not really. Yo, you read me talk? That posse of little shitheads just went strutting into the gym with some bats. Kaito-san, can you at least try to warn me a little sooner next time? Why? Are you worried? Oh, for hey, fuck's sake, this is why I they didn't want to go along. Here. Why are we going the drone tactic when we could have literally chose my partner to go here in the first place? Are we stupid or dumb or something, boys? Unbelievable. My character is uh, is unbearable, boys. He's literally unbearable. He's the stupidest character I've ever uh, played in my life. It's unbelievable. You guys know him, right? The basketball club would. Don't bother trying to talk to us like we're your fucking friends, asshole. I want to bash your fucking skull in. You'll die before I tell you shit. Okay, dude. Like do you really want to get your ass kicked again? It's fair for you to take a handicap. I don't mind at all. Sure. All good. But it's still going to be pretty one-sided. You're so full of shit. going to kick your ass. These guys don't learn. How many times are we gonna have to fight these dudes? Wait, we're going serpent style? Delinquent students. Ooh, I'm scared. Uh, let me uh, change my style real quick. Crane style. Crane style, bitch. You can't beat me with the crane style. All right, go, boom. Finish you off real quick. And we're about to finish you off real quick. I'm not gonna quit the baseball bats. That's a bit too OP for you right there. All right, let me uh, grab you really quick. Grab you, boom, just like that. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. There we go. And boom. All right. Let me grab you again. D there we go. A little bit of a takedown right there. And let me grab you again and finish you off with a takedown. Make it a little bit uh, easier on you. I didn't have to grab any weapons or anything. That would be way too much. I like how we keep kicking their ass. They keep coming back. What the fuck, dude? Yo, you, you need you to stop. Guts for your age, kid. It's embarrassing. But come on, you really need a better outlet for all that aggression. Let me go. Just what on earth is going on in here? Oh my God! Now I got caught by a teacher. Like what the? F Let's roll out. I'm nearly the worst, boys. I'm gonna do you a favor here and leave out the part about the bats. Huh? The bats are right there. There's one behind us. The fuck you, you mean? Listening? Leave the part behind the. Yes, okay, man. dude. We were just horsing around a bit. All right, it's just a nice, cuddly, friendly. Like we're just having fun right here. Just horsing around is right.
You really are unbelievable. Why are you attacking defenseless students on their school property? I don't know, to be honest. To uh, don't ask me alone. because I have no idea what well, my character is thinking. The chairman asked me to be here. Oh, good. Let's drag him into this. How should our chairman explain you to the mob of irate parents that will be at his door any second now? Don't worry. There's a very good reason we hired these ragtag detectives to spy on and beat up your kids. <laughs> That's what I keep saying for the time. For the first... Like the first video I kept I saying that. Anything else about you? Anything. I'm going straight to the press. I'm under no obligation to cover for anyone. Oh, and your attire is atrocious. When you show up at a school, at least try to look the part. Now go home. The fuck you mean? I'm not a student. I can dress however I want. Good You're lord. Right, what a jackass that girl. I know I'm terrible. I'm a terrible detective. That doesn't mean she needs to uh, make fun of my dress. Bit too far right there, my girl. I'm afraid Solitan has made her point clear. Perhaps it's best you take your leave. After all, you've satisfied the bulk of my request. Wait. Okay, how about this? You can hire me on as a teacher. That uh, I can what? Stay on campus, no problem, right? But you can't teach without a license. You don't happen to have one, do you? No. I do have a lawyer's badge. How's that for certification? You're a lawyer? Well, that certainly is a respectable position, but it's not exactly a license to educate. No, I can't. can't we Just because I'm a lawyer doesn't mean I can teach I stuff. The fuck do you mean? Specific enough. Although, there is always the off chance that you can serve as an outside consultant. A guidance counselor, perhaps. A counselor? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be one of those ones. Okay. Have a kung fu club? Sure. I've got a few tricks I could show some kids. No, there's nothing of the sort. And on that note, I believe each club already has an advisor assigned. That's unfortunate. Me again. I say it's time we hightailed it out of here. No use sitting around on our asses, right? Why don't you meet us back here and we'll go? I can't. Not until I find something for sorry, son. Suit yourself. <laughs> you don't work too hard now. What do I do? I can't leave school. I need the time to ask around about Mikoshiba. I have to find a way to stay on this campus. Maybe there's got some staff positions that need filling. I think I saw a reception desk near the school entrance. Am I really gonna get hired and in the school? Oh my god. This is getting more... The more the, the more I play this game, the more it gets ridiculous, boys. I'm telling you. The more it goes on, the, 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 the more I just don't understand it uh, uh, whatsoever. There's a lot of points I just got from that, though. I can get some, like, health. I don't really need health right now. What I do need, Simon Destroyer, kind of. Uh, what about uh, this one? Master of Deception, though. That's a really good one. The Master of Deception uh, one is uh, is really good. Uh, I can get music appreciation. Listening to music on record player gradually replenishes health. Doesn't matter. Uh, mental momentum. So what is this? When telling additional five additional uh, uh, seconds, I definitely want to do that. There we go. That's gonna help me tremendously. So I'm gonna be really good at telling people. Right now, that's the one thing I haven't done yet. Really, I haven't really tell anybody. Keep popping off and bo beating up the same kids over and over again. There's a reception desk and there's a custodian. Should I just ask him point blank if they have any openings? Huh? That's one busy bulletin board. Could I find some help wanted ads for the school there? I mean, I, I can be some sort of consultant like, I, like you said earlier. I can be some sort of that. A teacher? Absolutely not. But uh, let's find out really quick. Maybe we can find something. Uh -huh. Stop right there. Huh? You again. I knew it. Suspicion confirmed. Can I help you? Actually, you already have. I didn't think you'd be foolish enough to show your face around here again. Yo, she's she's smarter sorry, than me, do... man. I'm dumb as bricks, but she is actually really smart. She could be a very uh, very good detective. 
Is this the girl who caught me yesterday? Why her? Why now? They always say perpetrators return to the scene of the crime. And you just proved the old adage true, Monsieur Voyeur. Monsieur Voyeur. Okay, then. No way she saw my face yesterday. Plus, we got the camera back. Okay, take a breath. I should be safe. Monsieur Voyeur? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your pervy little upskirt scheme. Seriously, hiding a camera under the stairs and at your age? Shame on you, sir. Yeah, you lost me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Oh, no, you don't. I have irrefutable proof of your crime. Why, the very shoes on your feet. You're wearing the exact same sneakers as the pervert from yesterday. And don't think they'll carry you to safety today. Oh. I got okay. caught right in the act. I am Sorry, literally the worst. Is my shoes? Everybody here's got shoes, young lady. In fact, I'm probably not the only person with this exact pair. Huh. Your shoe style is merely the icing on the cake. You see, before the pervert arrived yesterday, I had covered the floor around the camera with a clear polymer that shines under black light. Huh? It's an oil-based substance, so it lasts a few days. Your souls are stained with it as we speak. Uh, what the fuck, man? Why is she so smart and I'm so dumb? What is going on? While wearing the very evidence of your misdeeds. What the? Am I seriously getting busted here? By some high school girl? Lamenting your misfortune already? That's what you get for crossing the Mystery Research Club of Serio. Mystery High. Research Club? Mystery Research Club? Now, if you'll follow me to the faculty room, monsieur. Wait, just hold on, okay? She's not bluffing. This could turn out real bad. What do I do? Uh, what do, I do? Well, why do I offer my services to her? I think uh, it would be great. She could be working for me, man. That's uh, She's a really good one. Okay, refuse or uh, refute or claim. Use EX surrender or flee. All right, so we're going to find out what I do in the next video, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.